Pope. That's the wrong way. Okay. Welcome again to Painting with Pips. Yeah, so the, today I'm just going to do um, kind of like a basic, done like a basic sketch. I want to kind of try and do something uh, that helps me practice trees a little bit because they've been my kind of a bit of a weakness. So I'm going to start off and get a sky in. And uh, we'll see how far I get with this. I don't really have much time to stream, so because uh, I'm fighting against the battery. So I'm going to mix out some blues. Put some liquid in there to make it a bit more runny. We don't really want, we want some, I want it to be a, uh, kind of a, a nice day really, like a bright blue sky. So let's go with a bright blue. It's a pretty basic sky this is going to be, I think. You want to kind of start off, obviously, a good uh, one or one is to start off with your dark on the edge, and this is uh, yeah, this is kind of being a bit stubborn about going off. And uh, this board is just plywood, really, so obviously it's not going to go on super. Uh... It's wobbling like hell. Up. It's going to be a bit of a battle just to get the paint on this board along the trees. So yeah, the idea of this is to try and, obviously try and make a nice painting, but uh, at the same time I have to kind of be sure to include trees really, because I really do need to get them practiced. And I figure it's better to kind of uh, just practice everything at once really, and uh, hopefully you know, I'll get a bit more trees in there. Just to, Me off. Yeah, I'm just scraping it on there really because well this is wobbly. Uh, I don't remember it being like this before. But it's just kind of what I can deal with I guess I'll just hold on to it there. So it's a bit of a shitty easel, let's be honest. So yeah, like a better easel upgrade would be nice. Because this thing is wobbling, which isn't uh, ideal really. Uh, just kind of makes it in the sky that little more, a little harder really. Harder in ways it shouldn't be. I don't remember it being like this bad. Last time. Maybe if I lower this, it will probably be a bit more stable for now. I'll just adjust that camera. Still sound shit up here. Right. Well, it's early days anyway, so 
There's bound to be a bit of farting around. So yeah, I'll adjust the camera to include a little more. Oh, come on. Yep, should really, uh... Ah, oh, here we go. Just put it there for now. It looks like it's at a bit of a crazy angle, but... That will have to do for now, I'm afraid. So yeah, hopefully this is a bit more, yeah, it's a little less wobbly. I'm probably gonna be in your way a little bit, so forgive me for that, but I really need to kind of control this because it's just wobbling all over the place. So this easel is pants. Uh, it's not like a, it's a very cheap easel really, so obviously when when it comes to bigger canvases it's starting to show a little instability now. Starting to fight with me. Let's get some more white, because we want to kind of gradually go more white as we're going down. introduce a bit more white in here and I like to just like I said on the last stream I like to sort of mix my colours a little bit on the canvas while I'm doing it I don't know it's uh, uh, it's one of the ways I like to do it obviously it's good to kind of get yourself started with a good colour you don't want to be uh, but you know that you're not really going to be wanting to mix up anything other than white in a sky, kind of like a blue sky. And to be honest, the gradient isn't <laughs> that great here. We've kind of got a bit of a patchy looking sky, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to add some clouds. And I think it gives it a bit of uh, an interesting look anyway to sort of have it. Get some more white on that. And if it's too white, you can always add a bit more blue. Smash that on there. Hopefully. It's one wobbly ass canvas. time with the sky really there's no rush I'm not really trying to do it super fast I'm just doing it the way I would normally do it I'm not really you know probably get more interesting as it goes really once I get the uh, basics done but I think I'm liking that I think that is good for a base sky and uh, I guess I'll, I'm gonna put a few clothes on there just basic white clothes I think and uh, but these are going to be, I don't want too many, because I always put too many down and uh, I'm going to try and be a bit more selective. So you'd probably have like some small in the distance here. Or like uh, some really small clothes and I'll just kind of do like a little thing just to mark it down. Probably one the probably like a bigger one here. I'll kind of really play, kind of really add them in properly after. I just kind of want to plan it out a little bit. One here, 
maybe like a biggish one there. Uh, I'll add that in. No. I'll really sort it properly. Sort of faded, blurred look that I kind of want, really. See, that little blob has done all of that, really. And that is a big cloud now. So, probably maybe should go with a slightly smaller brush. This one will probably be nice. Uh, for these, get a bit more white. Probably not the ideal brush for it, but it doesn't really matter. You can paint clouds with whatever you can get. You just literally paint circles like this for basic clouds anyway. There's a bit more to it when it comes to more advanced clouds, but these are just going to be simple ones. Just to I'm just kind of using the corner of the brush here. And these are all pretty tried and tested sort of techniques really. I'm, I'm probably not the person to go to, you know, if you really want to learn how to paint clothes, there's people far more qualified to learn, but you can watch it anyway, you know, it's part of the whole thing. I'm not really here to, to give anyone any sort of lessons and more sort of here to sort of encourage just share what I'm doing really have a bit of company uh, which is nice and a few kind of wispy lines in the, in the back here so these are very kind of faint clothes aren't they they're not very important looking but Probably a bit more white needed there. Oh dear, some black put on there. Not to worry. It can be a greyish clay. Can happen. Just a raw clay. Decided. To rebel. bit more white. I think I want to get those a little more uh, popping out a little more of those clouds because they're a little faint to my liking and uh, I'll start to blend them. So my song would be kind of up here, so light would be kind of a bit more brighter parts of the clouds there. It doesn't have to be. Might look a little uh, messy at the minute, but I'll show you how you can just swatch it down and get like a good cloud after it. Yeah. I think I've ended up doing a little more clouds than I was planning but I don't think it's too bad. Just to uh, blend them up and down. 
And like what I like to do, which a lot of people do, is you just brush them off. You probably see Bob Ross do this all the time. Side to side. It really kind of gives them that misty clay look. Sometimes you might want to just blend it in. You don't want that shape, you can just blend that out. here a little more misty looking and blended. And that's pretty good. I think I'll add a bit more white to that one. Sweating like a beaver. It is hot today. Yeah, I didn't really want a super defined looking clay there. I don't like this one up here. I want to kind of blend that out a little. I kind of want that to be a bit more of like a, a complicated two part cloud here, maybe a bit more white. And you can go even further with the highlights if you want to. You can really kind of go in and I would probably recommend going in with the extreme highlights with a smaller brush, really. <clears throat> that would be more ideal. So I think I can heighten this. A little bit now. Right here. Yeah, there we go. Say there, maybe? Oh no, it's good there. See how it looks in a minute. You can see the uh, preview over there. Yeah, that looks fine. So now there's another thing I wanted to do, and that's well, I think I want to put a mountain in there now. So I might try it with the palette knives. But I'm not very good with palette knives, so you'll have to forgive me. Because my palette knife skills aren't quite there yet. I might want to do for the background, really. These are all rules of thumb. Is <clears throat> you want to kind of go from start with the like a more bluey thing in the background, and then it'll be more faded. I think this will probably be be a bit more of a, a teachy looking one because it's uh, it's uh, I'm not really uh, I, well with, with the skies and mountains I can kind of do those okay but with I want kind of like a greyish let's get some brown in there I just make colours like mad. I probably waste too much paint doing this. Let's see. And you can just hold it up, see how it looks against the thing. No, it isn't that bad. But I want to 
on it quite a big mountain sort of here. Like a, a big sort of hill. Uh, maybe like It just doesn't run off my knife the same as it does with the pros. It's alright. We only need the edge. I can tidy that up a little bit. This is a technique you'll have seen loads of, but it's fun, fun to do. At least uh, give it a go. And you'll probably not do it right the first time, and I still don't think I do it that well. But I think, you know, I'm just going to practice stuff. And that's what I'm here for, really, is to show you that anyone can give it a go. That's kind of more what I want to do, is encourage you to try it. Like my friend came around the other day and he was kind of like, I was tempted to, to, he saw my blank, like a blank canvas just sitting there for ages and he was saying, uh, oh, like I, I was really tempted to paint something on it and I said to him, you should have tried, you should have. I would have been interested to see what he came up with. It's not someone who I've known to do anything artistic, so I, I think that makes it quite interesting to me. Uh, yeah. I do quite like the way that shape's turning out. Let's just get all that paint on there. Good old mountains. Okay. soon but just clean that up a bit probably doesn't have to be too clean because it's you want it to kind of contain some of that sky color really sort of a faded Sainsbury's. Jimmy's doing a cooking show and I'm doing a painting show. Stay tuned to see Chili Con Carne. Yeah, with these mountains, just get your outline done. Get yeah, the base color done. To be honest, I don't like how thingy that is. How dark it is on the edges, but I'll try and get rid of it. mountain here so it doesn't really matter too much about the bottom it's probably going to end around there you're not going to see 
that much of it, to be honest. You're only going to see these top bits. Um, so let's try and get these looking like millions now. Uh, you really want to learn how to do nice mountains, Bob Rosses. Is the guy definitely? He can do it on a really good night. Isn't it? They don't always turn out. I usually uh, end up having to use my uh, thing here. Um, call it. See how we go with this kind of. We need more colour, more effect, more tacking, and more hacking. There we go. This is one of my better attempts. Yeah, sometimes it's worth what you choose to put me. So obviously I've decided the sun's coming from this way more than the other way. So. That'll do for now for highlights, I think. Uh, I'm going to try and get some shadows in. And uh, so far, so good, I'd say.
doesn't fall for power. This isn't the best knife for this job, I would say. This is a bad one. It's got crap on it. It's got paint from the last session on it. But it'll do fine. It will do fine. corner the, the little shallower thing. visualize it as a moment really that's, that's the point where you've got to try and wipe the paint and do the work and you've got to kind of bring out where the paint and it's doing the work and uh, I'll be honest it, it, it's uh, kind of tricky to do with a palette knife but it's just practice so it's a lot easier to do with a brush or I probably will come in with the brush in a sec, just to get it. This pen does not want to stare on this knife. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with the brush and try and fix that up a little. Uh, I know just the brush that I want. All reliable. That's what this one is. This is my all reliable. Disorganized on this side of the mountain here. This side of the mountain, I'm not terribly happy with. Um, 
thingy on it now, so I'm going to try and re highlight it. <clears throat> Too much shadow going on. Oh dear, turn into a splotch mess now. This does happen. Hopefully, this is not the focus of the painting, so it shouldn't take too much away from it. And got to the trees yet, I'm already messing it up. Probably just blend that out at the bottom, you know, just sort of blend it down. And then I've probably overdone it though. Doesn't matter because that's getting covered, so it's worth a try. Always try something if you think it might work. Give it a try. I should have used a clean brush. But... batteries. I don't know. I guess I'll know. So if this stream cuts out, it's because I've run out of batteries because I've got a pretty weak setup at the minute. So you'll have to forgive me. But I will stop painting it and I'll stream it again if you want to come and see it. So don't worry if it does, uh, it does cut out. I'll just resume it again. It's so. <clears throat> okay. It's a very distant and it shouldn't be that prominent anyway. I've probably done it a little too much even even though really. It's probably still too too detailed for what I'm trying to to paint. And what I wanted next was I guess this is going to be the first of the trees. I think I was going to have some trees like in the background. Some dark trees. Dark fady. Dark yet fady. Sort of trees going on. So I want some green. Some blue. Too faded. Yes. Needs to be more darker than that. Well, 
Let's try plonking some on. I don't want to be spending the whole stream mixing colours, do I? So, yeah. I've got a little sketch here, and it's not much to go off. But it just helps me kind of think, yeah, I've just thought I'd try and plan out something and stick to it, really. So I can sort of plan ahead what I'm doing. That's not dark enough. And this is kind of the trouble I'm getting a lot of the time with my paintings, is that they aren't, like the trees, I don't know if I'm just going on too thick at the start, but they do not want to go over the top of what's in the background. The colour just does not want to do it. This isn't the worst, but it's still, you can see there's not, I'm getting a little resistance from this. But it's working out not too bad. It's working out all right. It might be okay. But I think on the next layer of trees it's going to be a problem. That's just my look, really. very distant trees, so they don't have to be too prominent, but I do want them to look more prominent than that, I'd say. Let's get some more black in, to sort of fight with the This is, I don't think you should be fighting the colours this early on, but this is kind of what my biggest struggle is with painting. I don't know what to do about it, so if anybody's watching, and they know how to <laughs> paint one thing over another, like a tree over a mountain or a tree over something without it doing this this battle for colour shit that I'm getting right now, then by all means just reach out to me because I don't know what to try really. Like the only thing I can do is just kind of go with it or wait for the thing to dry then do it, which I don't really want to do, I want to be doing wet and wet, really, as much as possible. But trees are a ball ache, they always are a ball ache, just for this reason, because I go over and over and over and it just does not want to give me anything. I think the way that I've done the mountains probably hasn't helped at all. I'm getting some different colours in there, but not there. I'll probably add to it. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that as, as a back thing, but, you know, could be happier. added a silly face thing. Luckily for the background trees it kind of will look like a big old clump of trees like that. Something like that anyway. Probably a bit too horizontal straw looking, but yeah. Let's try getting some very, very subtle highlights on on that tree there. Very subtle sort of colours going on. Mm, it's very hard to do to to do subtle because of the uh, constant battle you're doing with the uh, trying to get these to paint over the top of one another and it's really hard to do anything subtle with trees. Just makes it really hard. Yeah, that's kind 
the subtle, obviously, you know. Subtle in there. Just not happening. The struggle goes on between us. Let's see. I've gone a bit bolder just to try and get it to fight. I just, this is the thing, I'm getting through this, these colours to, to fight with each other rather than getting them to work over the top of one another. I don't know if it's the it's bad quality paints or it's just my technique or what I don't really know but take a step back and it's really just for the background that so um, I guess I'll move on from there. I'm not super duper loving it at the minute, I have to admit, I'm not super loving the And I don't know how uh, I'm going to uh, get that lighter tone over the top of that without kind of uh, mixing stuff. But for now, I'm going to. Uh, just clean up some of these brushes, I think. Clean these up. Wipe my face. Splash my face with cold water because I'm sweating like a beaver. And uh, I'm just going to get have a few hits of my vapage. <coughs> so hot. It's hotter today than it's than it has been, I am literally sweating from painting. And I've been working out lately, so I ain't that unfit. I really want to kind of take my top off. But I think it would be deemed inappropriate, so I won't. Clean those pushes up. I'm gonna go beat the devil out of them in the garage. Which is a sort of clean now. Yeah, nice. Um, which one do I want to use? I think I will use bigger one to get the basics done, and then I'll try to sort of. Uh, So I want to kind of lighter 
more sort of standout, less bluey tone. I don't think that's very bluey though, but it does look quite far back. So if I go with a lighter green, I think I might be good. Definitely want to be going. Uh, actually, we'll go maybe darker with highlights, really. I don't know. Tough. Hmm. Well, for one, I need to start getting some more greens on here. I've got greens, so I might as well use them. The uh, old. Arsenal. If it's the right green, I don't know, but in fact, I've got some references here which should be good for looking at for uh, trees, and it's about that distance. I'd say quite a dark, very dark green, that is. Very dark. Generally, just a richer, darker green. I think will be a good colour to go with. So let's try. Oh yeah, I think I've got a winner there. Um. So yeah, I wanna get these in. Richer and darker needs black. But it's a struggle to get the layers built up with trees. It is a nightmare for me. Like, with wet paint, how are you really supposed to do it? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet, so. As always, feel free to let me know. These are more in the background, so they're a bit more faded. See, it's not too much of a problem when there's not much paint layers there, you can get it down pretty easily. Get those extra trees too. Mm -hmm. might be coming to an end soon. Oh, it's done something. No, we're good. We're good. For a little while. But I've only got 15% battery and I don't have a good setup. I don't have like a computer down here or anything, so I'm streaming off on mobile phone. And this is just temporary. I think I'll be getting a proper setup soon, but I will resume this where I left off uh, after the thing's charged. It'll probably have to be tomorrow because they take forever to charge. But if you tune in tomorrow, I'll carry on with this painting. I'll probably try and finish off these trees here and uh, get that kind of set up explain what I've done where I left off and uh, we'll go from there now as they're coming more forward I'm getting bigger and more and darker just more contrast really So I had to get the 
it to really behave like a tree. And that's why this stream's called Pips versus the Trees, because I always have a hard time with it and I just never seem to get past this problem. So it's kind of I should have kind of wiped all the paint off where I knew the tree was going to go and I think in hindsight that's what I'm, just what I'll do really um, I think that will definitely help and this wobbly ass canvas wobbly ass easel is not contributing Let's get some darkers, because that does look a bit flat for my liking. And before this goes offline, if anybody's watching, I'd appreciate if you subscribed, you know, uh, and we can continue it tomorrow and uh, you can tune in. So yeah, if you haven't done, follow me on Twitch at the minute. I think that I've got a YouTube channel as well. Uh, Pippily as it is, and uh, it's just basically I'll upload the videos to the, so you can, uh, if they ever get taken down, you can always have a rewatch of them if you, if you so desire. So yeah, thought I'd get my little plug in before this thing ended. Uh, would be it always it's nice it's nice for our followers let's all be honest we'd all like it so it's nice to be watched it's nice to be noticed oh I've been painting without that it's just something I, I just wanted to share really so whether it be a lot of followers or a few I don't really mind as long as they're you know I'm not having fun with it. I've, I've had fun just talking to myself anyway, so <laughs> don't worry about me. I will do fine, whether or not. But I will appreciate it if you do decide to uh, follow me. Just trying to get this to, to sort of... Uh, and I think it's going to be better if I do resume this later anyway, just by how this this tree is going, really. Because at the minute, I'm kind of finding it hard to, well, I'm going to find it very hard to add highlights onto this. And it's just being a ball ache. I might have a go, I might have a quick dabble at adding some highlights if I get a chance before it ends. Oh, that should be more faded really, yeah. I guess I can uh, bring it out a little more with the uh, with the highlights and things. I don't want to be going with a big ass beefy brush like that. I'll be going with something smaller. Right, I just want to check my battery life. Critically low. I think that is going to have to, I want to end it. I don't want to get cut off. So thanks for watching. Um, I only have a small bit of battery left, so I wish I could continue really on here, but I'm going to save this for later. So thanks for, for watching anyway and uh, tune in. I'll be coming on again tomorrow, probably around the same time. So if you get a chance, yeah, come and watch. And... Uh, yeah.
and I'll see you next time.